In the history of baseball, there have been countless examples of a mediocre starter turning into an elite reliever, with a few of the most notable ones being guys like Raleigh Fingers, Goose Gossage, and the greatest closer ever, Mariano Rivera. In more modern times, Zach Britton is the most notable reliever that comes to my mind, as he had one of the greatest reliever seasons ever, years after converting from a starter to reliever. In 2022, the Orioles might have themselves Zach Britton 2.0, and his name is Jorge Lopez. Jorge Lopez was a starter in the major leagues a lot longer than Zach Britton, which is what makes this late transition to a successful late game reliever all the more surprising. Jorge Lopez got his first taste in the big leagues in 2015, which is seven years ago now. He only had two starts that year and wouldn't get extended action in the majors until 2018, when he appeared in 17 games split between the Brewers and Royals. He posted a 6.42 ERA for the Royals in 47 games, 25 of those being starts, over three years before being selected off waivers by the Orioles in August of 2020. In his first full season for the Orioles in 2021, the results were not good. He had a 3-14 record and went back and forth between the rotation and the bullpen to post a 6.07 ERA. As an Orioles fan, I thought this would be the last time we'd see Jorge Lopez, as he'd just been unable to limit base runners his entire season. Although, 2022 is when things have turned around for Jorge Lopez. Spring training wasn't an impressive showing, as he posted a 7.11 ERA in five appearances. So there wasn't a hint as to what we would see from Jorge Lopez so far this season. In 31 appearances this season, he has a .75 ERA, second among relievers this season with a minimum of 30 innings pitched. His 5.35 ERA plus is five times better than league average. He has allowed only three earned runs all year and has averaged exactly one strikeout per inning so far this season. He has been able to limit base runners this year at an elite level, only allowing 16 hits in 36 games and walking only 13. He has 13 saves thus far and has finished 24 games for the Orioles this season. One thing that has really impressed me about Jorge Lopez this year is his ability to get more than three out saves. Brandon Hyde, the Orioles manager, has utilized Jorge Lopez in a more extensive role than most closers get. His trust in Lopez to get out of a jam in the 8th inning and then come back out and shut down batters and close out the ninth is a huge task, but Jorge has been up for it since opening day. Modern day relievers don't usually have a huge arsenal, meaning they have one or two pitches that they are able to throw a majority of the time for an inning or two and be done with their outing. Starting pitchers who go through the lineup two to three times or more a game aren't afforded the luxury of relying on one or two pitches. This is what makes Jorge Lopez different than most modern day relievers. Being a former starter, Lopez had four pitches he could rely on and this year as a full-time reliever, he has utilized all four of those and actually added one. His fastball is a high octane fastball which generally sits around 94 to 99 miles an hour. Last year, he was a few miles per hour slower, which isn't unusual to see relievers throw harder than starters considering they have a significantly lower workload. His fastball, however, hasn't been his go-to pitch this year. His sinker, which he's throwing a lot more this year than he did last year, has a ton of horizontal and vertical movement depending on the location. It's been his bread and butter pitch so far this year, and he's been able to throw it at almost 100 miles per hour, which resembles what Zach Britton was able to do during his tenure in Baltimore. Lopez has a slider and curveball as well in his arsenal, both with a significant amount of vertical and horizontal break. His slider he relies on more than his curveball, as it tunnels well with his high velocity sinker. Keeping the ball in the yard was what made Zach Britton so successful, and that has been exactly the same story with Jorge Lopez all year. At the time I'm recording this video, Jorge Lopez has yet to give up a home run this year. His ability to get ground balls has been the difference between his terrible 2021 and his breakout 2022 reliever campaign. If Jorge keeps this up, he could be a huge part of the Orioles team for years to come. Now that the rebuild is officially over, it's time to start building up the reserve of starting pitchers and relievers that can help make a run in the postseason over the next few years and beyond. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.